In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord is found recorded in St. Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus, the fifth chapter, beginning at the 25th verse. Husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel is found recorded in the Gospel of St. Luke, the 6th and 7th chapters. Jesus said, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when a flood arose, the stream broke against the house and could not shake it, because it had been built well built. But the one who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation, and the stream broke against it. Immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. After he had finished all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A devotion from the writings of Martin Luther based on the text Hebrews 11.1, 1, which reads, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This means as much as to say, faith is the means by which one trusts in possessions he does not see, namely, that I should expect temporal things which I can see, neither see nor hear, but must only hope for. If I were a man who had a wife and children, had nothing for them, and no one gave me anything, then I should believe and hope that God would sustain me. But if I see the it amounts to nothing, and I am not helped with food and clothing, what takes place? As an unbelieving fool, I begin to doubt and take whatever is at hand, steal, deceive, cheat the people, and make my way as best I can. This is what shameless unbelief does. But if I am a believer, I close my eyes and say, O oh God, I am thy creature and thy handiwork. I will depend entirely upon thee who carest more for my sustenance than I do myself. Thou wilt indeed nourish, feed, clothe, and help me when and where thou knowest best. Thus faith is a sure foundation through which I expect that which I see not. Therefore faith must always have sufficient before it should fail the angels, would have to come from heaven and dig bread out of the earth in order that believing persons should be fed. The heavens and the earth would have to pass away before God would let his believers lack clothing and the other necess necessaries of life. 
the comforting and powerful word of the divine promise demands this. But when one inquires of reason for counsel, it soon says it is not possible. You must wait a long time until roasted ducks fly into your mouth, for reason sees nothing, grasps nothing, and nothing is present. Concerning spiritual blessings, I wish to say that when we come to die, we will see before our eyes very death. When we would eagerly wish to live, we would see very hell, and yet we would fondly wish to possess heaven. In brief, we will not see a single thing we would like to have, but faith is the principle by which I secure what I do not see. I fully trust that God, by virtue of his promise, will give me life and salvation. We confess together our common and saving faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.